A Salem couple lost all of their belongings in a mobile home fire. Now they're in need of some community support. Michaela Schindler spoke with the family to see what they're in need of at this time. First responders throughout Doddridge and Harrison County had responded to a mobile home fire on Buffalo Calf Road around 9 a.m. on December 23rd. Melanie Davis had told 12 News that they had a generator hooked up and running when the lights began to flicker and they heard it making a strange noise. The couple had gone outside to check on the generator when the high winds helped the fire to start engulfing the entire single wide trailer in flames. We got five fire extinguishers. They wouldn't put it out because we had propane tanks back here. And propane tanks caught on fire. And it just took the got in the trailer and got on the garage. Bud and Melanie Davis had lived in the home for 31 years before everything they owned had gone within 15 minutes. You never think that something like this could happen to you until it does. After the family realized what was going on, they tried their best to save what they could. Well, I went in one time, tried to grab something, but the smoke was so thick I couldn't even see three inches in front of me. And then about the time my son yelled, the propane tank's blowing. Then he bust the front door in, but the flames was done up there. The couple's daughter explained that the fire traveled across the electric lines over to the garage. Luckily, they saved their side-by-side -side and tractor before the items also became victim to the flames. This family is on to its next steps in which they have already cleaned up the mess the fire had left. We are in the process of trying to get them another trailer and get it pulled in here. Um, they went and looked at one yesterday, so... That's what the GoFundMe for is to help them to help them financially be able to afford this trailer. Considering that the Davises had already retired financially, they are based on a fixed income and need some support during this time. Other than monetary donations, the family is in need of women's clothing, including medium to large tops and size eight or medium in pants. The daughter of the family works at the Salem University Men's Dormitory and is willing to meet with those who are willing to donate. I'm Michaela Schindler, reporting for 12 News in Salem.